Hey, it's Dana with MDT Woodworks, and today I'm gonna to share with you how to paint a cabinet door. I have been working on a project today, and we um, are actually transforming a piece of furniture that is in our store, and I wanted to share with you how simple and easy it truly is to use our Dixie Bell paint products and transform any kind of piece of furniture that you want. So, I have here with me today one of the cabinet doors that has not been painted yet. Now, I will be honest, when my husband built this, because we built all of our furniture here at MDT, um, we actually painted this with a gray paint called driftwood and then we put gray, black wax over it. Now it's been a great piece but honestly I'm just kind of tired of the gray and wanted a little bit of a different color. So I decided to pick up some in the navy and in the navy looks like this in the jar. It's a really pretty navy and I'm super excited because I've been working on the doors and I have some examples for you. So first tip for you guys when you're painting any piece of furniture you want to make sure and get the door nice and clean so you want to take the hardware off and you also want to make sure and label your door on where it goes back on the piece of furniture or the kitchen cabinets bathroom cabinets things like that so take your hardware off that's what you're going to do first and then you're going to um, make sure and clean the piece so what do i mean with clean well dixie bell actually carries white lightning cleaner that comes in a container like this and you add two tablespoons into a gallon of hot water so what do i do i usually take one of those old milk gallon jugs put some hot water in it fill it up then throw two tablespoons and shake it up really good i then get some of these squirt bottles and i make sure and write white lightning on here so that i know this is not water this is cleaner and then i will just directly spray on two my cabinet door and then take a towel to wipe it off. Now, here's a tip for you guys. Once you've cleaned your piece, you're gonna to wanna to make sure and come back and rinse with just water to get any of the chemicals off. Now, if you're not able to get a hold of Dixie Bell White Lightning Cleaner, you can actually just um, get some TSP from any local hardware store and that will also clean your piece. But you wanna make sure you get all the dust and the grime, any kind of oils off of your piece before you put a fresh coat of paint on the piece. So once you've done that, you're really begin you're ready to paint. You don't have to do any priming, sanding, anything like that. So I'm gonna walk you through and I'm just gonna turn my camera down and you guys are gonna see step by step what to do. So this is a really pretty navy. So I've already cleaned my piece, but if I was going to clean it again, I would spray it with my white lightning cleaner, take a rag, wash it off real good, and then I would come back with just a damp rag or cloth of water, rinse it off to make sure I get that clean, and then you're ready to paint. So what did I say to do? Take your hardware off. So I'm gonna actually take my hardware off of this piece you guys can see this is raw wood on the other side. Um, we actually um, use this piece that the door belongs to um, in our store to store some of our extra products and tablecloths and things like that. So um, normally it's not open very often, so I never took the time to paint the side. Now I could totally do it, but for um, time purposes today, I'm not going to. So. Um, if you are interested in purchasing White Lightning Cleaner, I've put the affiliate link in the um, description here on our YouTube page. You can order from them at any time. And if you always have questions about Dixie Bell Paint, you can definitely send me a message and I will be happy to answer those messages for you. So, Dixie Bell is so fun. It's my favorite paint, chalk paint out there. Um, and I love that you can just keep painting pieces over and over again. So this piece has been painted for quite some time. Um, probably six months or more and now it's time to give it a fresh look and um, I have been posting on our Facebook page pictures on our story of what the piece is transforming to look like and it's totally transformed it by just changing the color it's amazing and now I didn't have to get a new piece of furniture built so that's pretty awesome so you can use our Dixie Bell paint on anything and so today I'm just going to show you on a cabinet door what you can do so all right here we go guys I've got this off now here is the piece and I am just going to paint with my Dixie Bell large brush and I have this damp I actually rinsed it out earlier because I was doing all the rest of the doors but you want to make sure one tip that I have for you when doing the Dixie Bell chalk paint is you want to make sure your brush is damp at all times this is going to allow the paint to glide easily over your piece it's also going to help the paint go on smoother and it's going to extend the life of the paint so 
Um, the piece that I have painted today um, is at least six feet or longer. And um, I have not used the entire jar yet, and I've done the doors as well. So um, this eight ounce jar that cost me $10 is gonna cover the entire piece, which is pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna dip directly in, and then I'm gonna start brushing a light layer onto the piece or the cabinet door. So you wanna make sure your first layer is super light, guys. One tip for you that I have is make sure the paint goes on really light. You guys can see, I can still see the color underneath, but that's okay. I want the paint to adhere to the board and I don't want it to be super heavy, kind of like nail polish, because if I put it on like nail polish, guess what? Then you have to wait for that paint to dry and that could take forever. So what I did is I have six cabinet doors. I've done all of them, but this one, all of them were dry by the time I got done with the six. So I turned around and added the second coat. And now I'm ready to put um, the second coat on one that I, I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the difference of a comparison here. So hold on one second. I'm gonna get the edges and then we're just gonna let this dry. Chalk paint dries super, super fast, which is also an amazing perk of the chalk paint. And you guys, if you've never tried our Dixie Belle products, I dare you to try them because you're going to love them. Um, it is chemical free and they're so, they just finish so nicely on any kind of furniture or any, really anything. We were painting today in the kids camp on t-shirts. So, all right, so there is the first coat. So it's still wet, but you guys can see what the first coat looks like. And then this is one where I have put two coats on and I'm gonna come back with my third, and this will be my final coat on this one. So same thing, keeping my brush damp, I am just gonna put on my final coat, and then once I get it coated, I'm actually gonna put a brown wax over it to add a little depth to the doors, because the doors are pretty, pretty plain Jane, so I wanna add a little texture to them. Um, I am a rustic girl, love being rustic, so um, I wanna make sure and they look good and rustic. So, all right, so we're gonna put this third coat on the doors here. And then I'm gonna show you what the third coat looks like and show you what the next step would be. So typically when I'm painting a piece of furniture, here's gonna be my steps. Step one, I'm gonna clean the piece. Step two, I'm gonna rinse the piece with some water of a damp rat on a damp rag or cloth. Step three, I'm then gonna put a light coat on my piece all the way over it, and I'm gonna let that dry. Step four, I'm gonna come back with a second coat and put that on and then let that dry. Typically, I let the second coat dry overnight, and then I come back and see what the paint looks like dried, and then if I wanna add a third, I will add a third. So, just depends on how much coverage you want and if you plan on distressing the piece or not. So that is kind of that. Um, once I have made sure the paint is where I like it to be on the piece, then I will begin to do all of the sanding or distressing or anything like that of what I want the piece to look, have that final look to be like. So gonna get that on there. This is um, called In the Navy again, if you guys have questions. And um, it is really one of my favorite colors. I love this pretty blue and on furniture, it's gorgeous. So you guys can see the first coat versus the third coat. So it covers really nice. It dries really nice as well. So let me move this over here and you guys will be able to see what, hold on here, this piece looks like. So. I'm done painting now and I'm ready to give this board a final look. So here is the board in navy and now I want to add just a little bit of distressed, um, a distressed look to it. I can't talk. And then I'm going to um, sand it a little bit. So I have some 220 sandpaper that I am just going to go over, turn this down just a bit more, the sides because I want the sides to look just a little bit distressed. So, and then I'm just gonna come over the top real light and sand a little. And then I'm gonna put my wax on, put my hardware on, and I'm ready to hang. It's really that simple. 
So I'm gonna come back and just give this a good dusting to get all the dust particles off. And then basically, I'm ready to do whatever kind of finish I want. Now, let me put a disclaimer on here. You could paint the piece, just like this one here, and leave it exactly like this. You wouldn't have to do any distressing, you don't have to do any waxing, sanding, anything. If you just like the solid navy, you could totally do that. I'm going for more of the rustic look, so I sanded it and distressed the edges. So it's really up to you. The great thing about Dixie Belle paint is you do not have to put any kind of finish on it if you don't want to. Once it is hardened in 30 days, it is hard as a rock, it should not chip, it should not peel, um, none of the above. But today, I'm actually wanting to use one of our waxes, which is this one is our brown wax. Um, it's our best dang wax, and I'm actually using a chip brush, and I'm going to brush over the entire piece. And I'm just gonna come over it pretty heavy, and then I'm gonna take my cotton rag, and I am going to blend it in. So, just adds a little bit more dimension. Like I said, the um, piece that is out there in our store is solid navy, but I wanted the doors to have a little bit more depth to them, which is why I'm doing a wax. Now our wax comes in several colors. It comes in gray, it comes in brown, it comes in black, it comes in white, and it also comes in clear. So there's lots of options for the waxes. Um, I love the finish of what the wax feels like once the piece has been waxed. Um, so that's one of the things I like about the wax. Um, you could use a glaze, which I'll do another video about a glaze. Um, you could use clear coat, which is kind of like a little bit of a poly acrylic over the top if you wanted to do that, but it's not necessary. And I always tell people, it just depends on where you have the piece. So for instance, our front doors here at our store and our flower pots outside are chalk painted and there's nothing else on them. No extra protection, nothing. And they look awesome. So you do not necessarily have to put something on in order to um, feel like you have to have that added protection. You don't have to. If you don't want to do the work, you do not have to do it. So now I'm just taking a cloth and I'm going to kind of buff this in to the paint. I don't ever want the wax to feel tacky. If the wax feels tacky, then I need to buff it in more, if that makes sense, hopefully. Like I said, we're super excited to have our YouTube channel. If you guys would hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends, let us know if you have questions or there's particular videos that you guys want to see. Um, we do a lot of workshops here at MDT. Um, we do a lot of chalk paint workshops, but we haven't done a lot of YouTube videos yet. We've had a lot of classes for them. But one of the questions we get a lot from those who aren't local to us is, how do you do this? What do you do with this? So we're really gonna start being intentional with our YouTube channel and give you guys some of those videos that you're looking for that maybe you can't come into our store because you don't live close and you can't ask us. So hopefully that'll give you guys some ideas. All right guys, let me take this too and just go over it one more time. Now, I like to let the wax harden for 24 hours, typically, um, before I do anything else as far as putting the piece on the you know, furniture or putting chairs under a table, if I'm doing table legs or anything like that. So, it is so pretty though. Love, love, love. It's just a very true navy, but you guys can see that has a little bit of a different finish than if I had just gone with the navy. See that? So there is quite a difference. This looks more aged and like I said, you guys know, rustic to me. So the next thing I would do is put my hardware on. Um, the hardware is going to go back into place and then I will put it back on our piece and I will be doing a quick video showing you the piece, um, what it looks like once we get it all finished. So thanks again for joining us today. We hope you hit the subscribe button and we'll talk to you again soon.